else coming up on this week's episode of Go With The Heat. Tubbs works deep undercover to find a leak and a crooked detective in the episode Red Tape. On this week in Vice, we'll be covering when this episode of Miami Vice aired from March 2nd to March 15th, 1987, when Miami Vice was king. In news, on March 13th, John Gotti was acquitted of all charges, including racketeering and a major upset to the prosecutors. The news of Gotti's acquittal spread the moniker the Teflon Don, since charges never stuck to the famed mafia boss. And in TV, on March 8th, NBC aired the final episode of The A-Team. The iconic show was only on for four seasons before the final plan came together. Although I'm not much of a fan of this show, it did introduce the world to Mr. T, and I pity the fool who doesn't love the T. Then I'll take my fist and put my initials on your brain. It'll burn your face right off. In music, Bon Jovi's at the top of the Hot 100 for one more week, so let's go to the archives. Peaking at number 7 is the Beastie Boys classic, You Gotta Fight for Your Right to Party. From their debut album, License to Ill, it was their fourth single from what is arguably one of the best albums of the 80s. The combination of the Beastie Boys' personality, the music video, and the ironic parody of the lyrics makes this song transcend the 80s and is a cultural icon today. In movies. All right, we have quite the collision of movies. First, taking over the top spot in the theaters is one of the greatest action movies ever, and it's the best buddy cop movie of all time in Lethal Weapon. Starring Danny Glover, Mel Gibson, and Gary Busey, it has an all-star cast behind the camera with director Richard Donner and writer Shane Black, who will also star in a number one film later in 1987. The film would spawn a franchise with three sequels, a TV series, and a long, long list of copycats who will never ever come close to this classic i'm too old for this shit lethal weapon will hold the box office for three weeks and that's a good thing for this week in vice also released at the same time as heat starring burt reynolds the coen brothers crime comedy raising arizona and one of my top five favorite movies ever in the evil dead 2 from sam raimi and starring the one and only bruce campbell more on these movies in the coming weeks and that's everything you need to know that was happening when Miami Vice was king. Be sure to join us on Go With The Heat at GoWithTheHeat.com. I'd love to hear from you. Email the show GoWithTheHeat at gmail.com or follow me on Twitter at Dom Corvo. That's all for this week. Bye, pals. <laughs>